All right, James, we're filming right now. All right, that's great. We are at Cape Ann G. Clay. I'm with James Eves, and uh, we are, uh, you know, doing business locally. There are several reasons why you want to do business locally, but, the, you know, I've, James has done a lot of uh, prints for uh, the big-time artists in town, and uh, I have a show on Thursday. I, it kind of just fell into my lap. EJ and I are going to have a show to benefit the Gloucester Education Fund. Um and uh, it's at Alchemy. Alchemy does a great job with these. They uh, they put out a nice spread, and ten, and uh, and ten percent of the, the proceeds of anything that sells goes to the Gloucester Education Fund. But here I'm working with James right now, and we're deciding which uh, of the photos we're gonna. Uh, what do you call them? Photos or images? Yeah, I I just tend to say images only because sometimes it's art, sometimes it's photography, sometimes it's an illustration. Yeah. So to me, but over here it's always. For me, it's just an image that needs to go to you know the print. And uh, uh, when did you guys start? Uh, when did you guys start here at Cape Ann G. Clay? On well, we opened up the doors of our studio here in May, and um, we we've been printing out of our home studio for the past four or five years. Huh. And and I've been sitting in front of Photoshop for the past <laughs> twenty five years. So. Yeah, you know. and you guys have a ga there's also like a gallery space of the, a lot of the people that you do w work many, for. Many of the artists choose to be represented by us, as it were, where we show their work and we sell their work and we present their work to interior designers. And mm. um, we're not really in the business of being a gallery, but we figure we have the space and we have the the position to market artists better than mar artists can market themselves in some cases. For example, if we go to a, an interior designer, we can show a body of work, and the, this month that one interior designer might like this piece, next month it might be that piece, whereas yeah. an artist has only their own work to show to interior designers. Right. So there's a little bit more of a kind of a powerful presentation to that kind of industry. Um, and then the galleries, we just sell their prints off the wall. Yeah. Um, most galleries charge 50%, we charge 15% commission wow. for, for off the wall. That's not a lot at all. No, it's just, like I said, we're not really in the business to make money off of our gallery. It's just, it doesn't make sense to us not to use the wall space. It's a perk of, you know, but you're, they're also getting their stuff done here. Well, so the artists print there, there, and then artists that, that opt to, you know, that say, yeah, sure, go ahead and print one and stick it on your wall. Um, we don't really have a whole lot of people coming through here looking for art to buy. Right, right. Um, but when we do, it's here. It's here. There right. it is. And then we do have openings once or twice a year probably going to be more than that mm -hmm. in the, I think in the long haul where we you know you know we invite all our all the people we know that buy art so well today is it's Monday and the show is Thursday that's right the show is Thursday and, and you <laughs> no have, pressure no and pressure. you have a few pieces you want to get in there and we want to get a few pieces in there exactly uh, but the process I, I sent you these files the original files which I thought were tweaked to, to you know perfection and, and just you know great and you've shown me, you know, how much further advanced you are, uh, just bringing out little details that I, I didn't even know existed. So, well, in most cases, actually, in most cases, most of these files, I'm just, I'm adjusting for printing. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that we're capturing all the information in the image that's there in the digital file before it goes to the printer, because printers are going to have a limited space. This, you can see, billions of colors. A printer has 12 inks. Mm -hmm which is a lot more than most printers are printer, but it's still a limited color space. So you want to kind of cheat the image or play with the image to ensure that you're getting everything you can out of it, really. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of these pieces I'm showing you, I'm just showing you, what you know, what's possible or what I see as someone who has a lot of experience editing photography mm -hmm. um, and, and giving you options there. I mean, that, that seems like a relatively easy thing to do. This one, I think, is actually okay, yes? Yes. So we'll go to print on that one. Boom. See that? And <laughs> the tray, boom! <laughs> Just like that. And then that was it. That was the last one, right? We never touched this one. No, we never touched this one. That's on. Okay. This is this is so one. This, this one is one of is, my favorite. Yeah, I love this one. It's all these like these yeah, colors that are like feel like they're coming out of nowhere. I was like four twenty in the morning. It was just got done pouring out. So there's this, there's the, sh the reflections of the rain on the ground. We're going to have to clone out. See, I have the goodmorninggloucester.org right there. James, right. Will, James will clone that out. I don't know if the video camera will capture that. but Right, well, we'll do that. There we go. But this is this is one of my top three, maybe top two photos that I took last year. That you like? Yeah, 
I really liked it. I like the colors. Too. I like the composition. I just I did too. I'm, I'm just fucking it. So I, yeah, I did. I got some more out of it. Look at look at the look it up in here. Yeah. So you like the definition because you want that like that real clean blue color up there separating because this is going to go mostly black. I don't know if we're really going to see a lot of the, the, the purple clouds or the purple. Yeah. The purple color in there. It's it's, it's pretty much black numerically speaking. Mm. Um, so that one, maybe we just kind of go in and um, do a slight edit up in, up, up in here, just to try and get... So that edit is just going, just hoping to get a little bit more color out of the shadow, that real dark, dark, dark sky. Mm. Just see some actual color there rather than... I like the greens in here, just like that industrial green, yeah, like Gloucester sign. Right. And how it's reflected everywhere too. Right, exactly. It's up in there, and but it's in it's it's like for, it's really cool. Is this is like all dark purples and reds and stuff, but the actual reflections of this are the green color, which I think is really cool. Mm. But I think that looks good here. So here's our entry. This is where we came in. Um, this mostly right now, this edit is so that what prints look like, looks like that. Right. You know. Um, so I'm gonna save that one. Boom. And there we go, and I'm just going to go to print. So what's the address here? 20 Maplewood Ave. 20 Maplewood Ave. Right and you, have, you also have a website. We have a website, uh, kpanglay.com. Can't, can't, that's not, and G Clay, for people that don't know, G-I-C-L-E-E. -E. -E -E. Right. Yeah, dot com. And that's a French word that just means inkjet print. Ah, didn't um, know that. It's, it, that's all it means. Okay. <laughs> In our industry, it's come to indicate a certain standard of quality, and there's some. You well, know, you know, with all my work, that's you that's know, that's right. a, so, yeah. So, <laughs> so the idea, so the idea is that you know we have, you know, and that's how we present the word clay is, um, is is that we're establishing that not only is it archival, and you know, it's an inkjet print, which means detail. Mm -hmm. You know, you're assuming that there's going to be a, a resolution detail, mm -hmm. but it's also all the materials are perfectly archival. Um, my skill comes in where I'm tweaking every image before it goes to print. Right. Um, I, I never just hit print. It's not like you, you know, you gotta, you're send gotta, a file to some stranger and they just hit print and they send you with something back. I came here thinking I was going to be here for 15 minutes. We've been going through. We've been going over every single one of these images with a fine tooth comb, and uh, you can be rest assured that if 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 they're coming out of if they're getting printed out of this place, it's going to be. I mean, I think this is the one we want to print first, right? No, that's not the one we want to print first. What we want to do is go double check. Prints. I have seven in there. Let's see. And we are printing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they're looking good. There's a couple themes. The back shore, the industrial uh, boats. I'm excited for the show. All right, so let's print uh, a tough one first, right? That one. Maybe. Yeah, that is definitely. I would say that that's probably the most difficult. I would say that that's. So let's see what that looks like. Oh wait, first let's crop. Cancel. Uh, image size. This, wait, this is... That isn't one of the wider ones. That might be a... That this is kind of an odd shape for, for you. I mean, it's like either you cropped it at some point. I probably cropped it. So this end. is a 1624. Do you want that? Or do you want to crop to 1620? Because 24 is a lot to crop off. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, and you don't want to lose what's... Yeah, we'll do the 16... Yeah, we'll do 1624. Yeah, because I mean, that, that feels... Um, and we have about a quarter of an inch to crop off. We're probably going to take it from this side. Yep, exactly. Okay. Actually, so we'll say okay. All right. So that one we're going to print.
three quarter inch, right? But not an inch and a half. Oh, you want inch and a halves? Yeah, that's all. all okay. Uh, 1624. Okay, I have to create a profile for that one. Let's see. Fired up. Fired up. Some of the other so artists that, that have come down here. That, I know Charlie. I see Charlie Carroll. Charlie right? Carroll's out there. Good he's he's, he's, the he's like becoming a fixture around here. He comes in here all the time, just hangs out because he likes to you know bounce Photoshop ideas <laughs> off of me. He comes in and you know he brings me plenty of work, so I don't you know. So he comes in and asks me Photoshop questions. How do I? I was oh, trying to do this yeah. last night. And right. Couldn't get there. How do I do it? And so I just do a quick, you know, go through walk through on how to do it, and then he's off and running. Charlie's a Sony guy. Laureen Marr, I see some of her work out there. Uh huh. She just we just started working with her. She has a friend. Um, Carolyn Quaz brought her in here, who's paints is a Rocky Neck, so she paints those rocks and kind of a big big abstract painter. Mm -hmm. And so she brought her in, and she brought a file in here. That somebody else had worked on and she wanted to make sure we could match it and mm -hmm. she uh the the funny thing about that was they had a you know like a nine color printer and we have an 11 color printer so we're actually able to achieve more colors mm -hmm. so there's times when artists are you know we, we we want to pull a proof first so that they can see what their file looked like with more colors yeah. you know um, so we have a broader color space than what a lot of people previously had all right so that's that and then i'm going to do it again Manage custom sizes. Sixteen. So that's going to be twenty-four by thirty. Uh, we're going to come back when it comes to the printer. Right. Press the button right here.